Trump says ex-CIA director John Brennan has a bigger platform since he lost his security clearance. President Donald Trump insisted Friday that taking away former CIA director John Brennan's security clearance wasn't an attempt to silence a fierce critic dash and in fact gave him a much louder megaphone. There's no silence. If anything I'm giving him a bigger voice, the president told reporters on the south lawn of the White House as before leaving for a pair of Long Island events and a weekend at his Bedminster, New Jersey estate. Many people don't even know who he is and now he has a bigger voice. And that's okay with me because I like taking on voices like that," he said of Brennan, who made headlines by calling Trump's soft-glove press conference last month with Russian President Vladimir Putin treasonous. I've never respected him. I've never had a lot of respect. On Thursday Trump got a stinging rebuke from a retired naval admiral William McCriven who mockingly implored him to revoke his own security clearance as a show of solidarity with Brennan. I don't know McCriven, Trump said Friday, declaring that I've gotten tremendous response from having done that because security clearances are very important to me. Very, very important. He was not asked about the 12 former American intelligence chiefs who lashed out at him earlier in the day over the Brennan affair, calling Trump's action a political tool. Retired General David Petrius was among them. Petrius pleaded guilty in 2015 to sharing reams of classified material with a mistress who was doubling as his biographer, a historical footnote that made him an odd choice. Past CIA directors appointed by every former president since Ronald Reagan signed a joint statement that blasted the president for ill-considered and unprecedented remarks and actions. We all agree that the president's action regarding John Brennan and the threats of similar action against other former officials has nothing to do with who should and should not hold security clearances, and everything to do with an attempt to stifle free speech, they wrote. Brennan hasn't seen his ability to speak publicly curtailed, appearing Thursday on MSNBC just hours after publishing a stinging op-ed in The New York Times. But the White House's threat to cancel security clearances of nine other officials is seen in some circles as a warning shot across the collective bow of his political enemies. That group includes Petrius, whom he once interviewed as a possible Secretary of State, and then considered for the National Security Advisor post. If the four-star general had been appointed, he would have had to check with his parole officer before traveling outside of the District of Columbia or his native North Carolina. He resigned as CIA director after admitting that he shared classified notebooks with military officer Paula Broadwell during the Torrid Love Affair affair. Broadwell was writing his biography at the time. Petrius pleaded guilty to mishandling classified materials and was given two years probation in order to pay a $100,000 fine. Broadwell, a 21-year veteran, was never charged. But her military rank was reduced from lieutenant colonel to major as punishment. She was also stripped of her own top secret security clearance. The Pentagon never sanctioned Petrius. His name, and those of 11 others, appear on Friday's defense of Brennan Dash published as a statement but resembling an open letter to the president. They include former directors of Central Intelligence Robert Gates, William Webster, George Tennant, Porter Goss. General Michael Hayden and Leon Panetta, former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, and former Deputy CIA Directors John McLaughlin, Stephen Capps, Avril Haynes, David Cohen and Michael Morrow. We know John to be an enormously talented, capable, and patriotic individual who devoted his adult life to the service of this nation. Insinuations and allegations of wrongdoing on the part of Brennan while in office are baseless, the group writes. They conclude, decisions on security clearances should be based on national security concerns and not political views. Trump tweeted a quote Thursday night from Fox News host Tucker Carlson, who asked, how did somebody so obviously limited intellectually get to be CIA director in the first place? Now that is a really good question. The president wrote.